Now go ahead and look at the fifth important aspect of key difference and similarities between different countries. And I want to talk about uh, the rural economy and rural to urban migration. There are two main things here. See, first of all, if I compare an underdeveloped or a low income country with a high income country, you will notice that in low income country, majority of people are in the rural region. Whereas you will notice that in the urban, uh, in the high income countries, majority of the people are in urban region, right? So we can go ahead and we can di divide and understand the countries based on uh, how the population lives. Which area the population lives? It has been seen that as a low income country transits towards a high income country as it goes through the process of development. It has been seen that people migrate from the rural area towards the urban area. So slowly the urban population starts increasing and the rural population starts decreasing. So economic development is associated with shift from agriculture to manufacturing to service. This is a very important point. See the rural area corresponds to agricultural sector. Majority livelihood logo ka kya hota hai? Agricultural livelihood. The urban area corresponds to manufacturing plus service sector. Right? This is the main way in which people have their earning in the urban area. So when we say that, when we say that as a country progresses, just as a country progress, hoti hai, the role of agricultural sector falls. Right? And more manufacturing sector is there. Then the role of manufacturing falls and there is more service sector, right? So as a country progresses, you go from agriculture to manufacturing to service. And ye manufacturing and service, this happens in the urban area. And this happens in the rural area. So we see that there is, tra there is a transfer of people from rural to the urban area. In most of the low and middle income countries, there is more population in the rural area. Why? Because the low and middle income countries, hoti hai, still the majority of the income is earned through agriculture. And agriculture is in the rural area. Right? So majority of people are in the rural area. But <clears throat> only very few people live in the rural area in the urban, um, very few people live in the rural area for the high income countries. Jin income, jin countries ke paas GDP high hota hai, unme rural area mein bohat kam log rahe rahe hota hai. Similarly, for the low income and middle income countries, less people live in the urban area. Kyunki urban area mein bohat logo ke paas job opportunities nahi hoti. Jab a country development ke process pe hoti hai, to urban area mein bohat zyada job opportunities created nahi hoti hai. Right? So rural area is also categorized through these features. Majorly people are poor because we have seen that in agriculture mein there is disguised unemployment. Right? People don't actually have a job. Right? Jo kaam do logo se ho sakta hai, five people are doing that work. There is disguised unemployment. Right? So majorly people are poor. Income is not less. There is concept of missing markets. Infrastructure missing. Hota hai. Proper light, electricity, roads. Ye sab nahi hote hai. And limited information. People don't have a lot of information, right? But as a country develops, jaise jaise development hoga, people shift from rural to the urban sector. And the process of rapid urbanization starts. Then, uske baad, rapid urbanization start ho jati hai. In 2012, for the first time, in world as a whole, as a dekha gaya, that more than 50% of people, they were living in the urban area. Meaning, urban area ka population zyada tha, or rural area ka population kam tha. So, 2012 mein aisa dekha gaya, that more people were living in the urban area as compared to rural area. Right? 
acha another thing which i want to focus on is that still it is seen that in many underdeveloped countries like sub saharan africa south and southeast asia still majority of the population is in rural area showing that abhi bhi the process of development needs to take place where more people earn their livelihood from the manufacturing and service sector abhi bhi that has not taken place completely right so this is how you can distinguish between countries based on urban rural migration okay beta thank you